Hmm. Rohan, you have a summative test in school today on gravitation. You have studied it before, but do you wish to revise it quickly? The future of learning is here. Introducing AI Vista, your best companion, buddy, and teacher, anywhere, anytime. Flashcards, a question or concept on one side and the answers on the other, helps memorize by breaking down complex information into smaller, bite sized pieces, easier to retain and recall. Oh, looks like you've got it. But you know what helps before exams? A quick test to know where you truly stand. What say? Sure, why not? CYOT Create your own test Analyzes your past test performances and spots where you often go wrong and crafts a new test focusing on those areas ensuring you master them. Hmm, Rohan, looks like you fared well. You used principle of superposition to solve this equation. But you know what? You could have taken this approach here, skipped this step and saved yourself some time. Also, the formula you applied here was right. You could have gone directly to the answer. But consider how quickly you could have solved it using the principle of shell theorem. But great work. All the best for your test today. Break a leg. Got it. Thanks a lot. No matter the time, it helps you stay mentally prepared by being there for you and inspires self-assurance. Hey Rohan, how did you do on the gravitation test today, huh? Absolutely killed it, bro. I think I just might get the perfect score. No way. When have you ever got a perfect score, Rohan? Even Professor X will faint if you got more than 70%. Exactly. Bro, this time, na, I'm gonna beat you for sure. Dude, Professor X gave me 90% today on the CYOT. So I think you guys can surely try. Well, it not only prepares you for your test, but helps you practice and lets you know your mistakes like hmm. Overconfidence, I see. I always tell you to revise your paper before submitting. However, I'm more concerned with this question. Why don't you re-watch this section here? And let's discuss. Sure, let's try. Hey, Rohan, you did good with the CFU questions. Now, how about a quick practice test? Sure, why not? The value of acceleration due to gravity g can be considered as constant inside small spaceship orbiting around the Earth. So astronaut feels weightlessness. If space station orbiting around has a large size, the variation in g matters and astronaut will experience gravitational force. Hence, he can detect gravity. Rohan, you have understood the theory of it. Also. The gravitational force does not depend upon the medium in which the objects are placed. 
Gravitation force is a long range force that exists between any two objects with mass no matter what the distance between them. For example, the force between the Sun and Earth acts even when the medium is vacuum. I knew it. Whenever you get stuck, taking a step back is a great advice. I believe you have aced it now. Keep it up. Unlock boundless learning that goes beyond the confines of physical and virtual realms, transcending conventional pedagogical approaches. Immerse your children in motivational, personalized challenges, forging potent learning pathways. This guarantees profound comprehension, enduring retention, superior readiness and ultimately stellar achievements empowered by the unparalleled capabilities of AI. Exclusively at Infinity Learn Vista, pioneering the future of education.